Hey guys and girls, how's it going? And welcome back to Utopia with myself, Lewis. I'm currently doing some mining. Underground, finding the things. Oh, we just found some emeralds. Nice. So between this and the last episode, in the Age of Steam, I've done a live... I've done some live stuff. Yeah, we went on Twitch and did some live streaming. Wow. And with that, there are a few changes around the base that I'll show to you guys fairly soon, once I've got all the bits that I need. I'm currently getting myself some coal, which is very handy indeed, and some uh, gravel, copper, and tin are the uh, bits that I am currently on the lookout for. We want to try and find as much of that stuff as we can, and or canarium, because it sounds amazing. <laughs> I still haven't found a use for any of these awesome metals yet, but I'm sure I will eventually. Either that or I'm going to keep collecting them, because they sound so cool indeed. And emeralds, because I have really no need for emeralds, but we'll take them anyway. It's just one of those, isn't it? You find diamonds, and you just cannot... You can't not take them. If you don't take them, it's like blasphemy. <laughs> so you've got to grab those guys. Now, between... Oh, hello there. Oh, you came up a little bit quickly. <laughs> between this and the last episode... I've made a few things. I have made a tunnel bore, which is currently in my inventory... And we made some finger bobs to go with it. We didn't do those on stream. I've just made them already so that when we uh, get onto this episode, we haven't got to spend half the episode making stuff. We can get cracking with some pretty fun bits and bobs, which I think is going to be pretty decent, you know. So if we have a look in here, I've got my tunnel ball right here, and I made a diamond ball head. And I've gave it a little test, and it seems to be working fine. I just got to find a decent place to lay it down and let it run loose. <laughs> Hopefully, as well, I decided that I'm not going to use a anchor because you can use like the anchory things that basically uh, chunk load where they're going but I don't want to do that because I think it could put a little bit too much strain on the server which could be you know that could suck couldn't it if it kind of blows the server up so I thought that instead of doing that because you know I don't really need too much stuff uh, we could we could just sit in it while I go have a cup of tea because <laughs> I'm British. I can go ahead and put a little cart on the back and just sit there while it goes off and does its stuff. And then I can, uh, once I'm finished, oh, I don't want that. I can, uh, you know, just stop it, pick it up, take all the loots and be on my merry way. Yes, that's going to be the almighty plan, I think, for today. Yes, how much iron have I got? Because I wanted to get a load of iron today uh, and tin. Let's grab a little bit more of this tin. Yes. And we will make our way out of here, if I can remember <laughs> which way out of here actually is. And I, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that going up is generally a pretty good way of being able to uh, get out of this place. If not, I'm just going to tunnel up there. But it looks a little bit, uh, it looks a tiny bit like it's, uh, like it's a bit wet up there. Oh well, that's fine. We can breathe underwater, because that's how we rock and all roll. Now, in the live stream, we went ahead and we improved my little charcoal to... Oh, it was the coal, wasn't it? The coal to the coal coke machine. And it's working pretty nicely, I must admit now. Oh, where are we now? We like underground. Oh, 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 let's keep going. <laughs> I thought I was out then. I just got proper trolled. There we go. We're out. Okay, where's my base? Here it is. So, let's go down and I'll show you the stuff that I've done. So, we made this awesome little contraption here where this guy comes along and it pulls out via the unloaders, the, uh, the or it puts the coal via the unloaders in there, and then it comes down and it takes out the coal coke with the unloaders, or the item loaders, yeah, that's the way, it's always the way around, isn't it? And it goes and puts them in a barrel. I've also got two little guys under here who are grabbing from these and then it's going up to uh, these creosote tanks that I've put, which are, you know, are pretty cool, aren't they? I've set them so that they'll only put their stuff out when they're full, so these tanks won't move until they've got all of the creosote. And this one's, like, already full, so I might make need to make these just a little bit bigger. But, you know, it look pretty, look pretty cool, wouldn't it, when they're all really big and stuff, so I'm pretty excited to be getting on with that. Let's go throw all of the coal that I got in there, and the coppers can go in here, and the irons can go over here. We're actually really low on the uh, copper at the minute, so we're going to have to be a little bit careful about that. But put the golden things in here. Uh, gravel. We're going to need the gravel. We're going to need all this stuff. I def definitely don't need zombie brains. <laughs> they can stay in there. And our orchinerium can go in there. Look at all these funky ores that we've got. 
that's just so good. I can't wait to find a use for these ores. <laughs> Hopefully we have got a use for these ores. Otherwise they're going to be sat there for a very long time. And our Vintium can go over here. Because I definitely don't need that Vintium. Okay, I think we're good. Yes, we're good. So should we set up our tunnel bore? I think that's going to be a thing. Before we set that up though, I'm going to quickly show you how you make the things. Oh my god, the, 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 the discs don't go in the crafting table, they go in the jukebox. There we go. <laughs> I think I'm having a mental breakdown. All right, so the tunnel bore is made with these. Now, we found out on the live stream that to make steel, the best way of doing it without making a blast furnace, and uh, obviously we can't use the other mods. We have to use the rail related mods, otherwise I'd use like thermal expansion or something. Uh, we've used train craft because train craft has the hearth furnace. Yes, and it has the train workbench. How cool is that? And what you go ahead and do, if I show you over here, let's get a little bit of... Have we got any spare coal? We have got spare coal. Okay. So we get the coal, and we throw it in the train workbench like that. I've already got some. And we get coal dust. Pretty cool, right? And then with our coal dust, we go out here, and we throw it in a crafting table, and we get graphite. And then with the graphite, when we throw it in the open half furnace, like that, with a little bit of iron... It will go ahead and smelt it up. You've got to throw something in here to burn. So I'm using cold coke because we've got loads of cold coke. And then that will give you steel. Oh yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? I think I've used all my steel up because it takes like a little bit of time to do it. But overall, we're good. I also made the diamond boar head, which you need steel all around. And then a block of diamond, hence why I only have one diamond now. And I made some carts. Pretty cool, right? And the reason I was underground to get copper and tin is because I wanted to be a little bit cheeky. And uh, instead of using the creosote oil to make the tracks, I wanted to just do it with <laughs> with bronze. Hence why I've got the bronze page up, which uh, goes like that, I believe, gives us bronze. Yeah, look at all that bronze. Nice. And then with the bronze, we use sticks, I believe. Either sticks or we might have to go get some rail beds. One of the two. Let's find some sticks. Let's get some wood. Where's my wood? Oh, there it is. Okay. Because the tunnel board needs wood, and it needs uh, it needs tracks. So is it like that? Yeah, there we go. Look. <laughs> I just got a load of them. Let's bring some more over this side. Cool. And you guys. Bam. Got those tracks. Got loads of tracks now. Keep them going for a decent little bit of time. Uh, we're going to have to keep supplying him with tracks, but overall I think he's going to be fairly happy with that. And we're also going to want to get some coal coke for him. So we'll grab some coal coke and let's go and set this guy up. So I'll show you how I wanted it to work. And <laughs> I think it's pretty humorous just sitting in the back of a giant big train boar guy as, uh, as I'm sat here drinking a cup of tea. Jesus, a miniature zombie. There we go. <laughs> okay, so this is where I was testing him. So we want to throw down our tracks. Like that. And we're going to put our tunnel bore on top. So, poof. Tunnel bore. Oh my god, that just looks amazing. And it's sat down. This it just looks so good, doesn't it? And if you go around to the front, it looks even better. Like... Check this out. Look what happens when I put the drill piece on. Because at the minute there's no drill piece. But when I put the diamond bore head in, look at that. That is just unbelievably cool. Now, what I also did is if you put a chest cart on the back, like this, it's then going to put everything it digs into the chest cart, which is pretty cool. We have to link them together with the crowbar and whatnot. So we'll shift click on that and that, and then that'll link them together. And then I was going to put a mine cart on the back, like that and link these two together as well, like that. So they're now linked together, which is pretty cool. So we'd put our gravel in here as our ballast. So when it kind of goes over an area, uh, for instance, if we dug down here, and you'll see what I mean. If we did that, and then we put our tracks in here, and we gave it some fuel, there we go. It's going to start doing its thing. Look at it, tunnel boring away. And when it gets to a hole, it should go and put gravel in there so that it can move forward. Should we watch this? Should put gravel down. Yeah, there we go, look. And it lays a little track on top. <laughs> what a guy. So it can keep going for ages. And with all of the coal coke, it can go for even longer. 
Now, if it goes out of chunk range, this little guy will just stop, basically. Uh, so there needs to be someone near it, unless you put an anchor cart on the back, like a world anchor cart. But my 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 way of thinking, I think, is the better way. Instead of letting it run loose, we played Tech It like a year ago. Like, think of that a year ago, so long ago. But we had a tunnel ball and we just let it loose. And I think it, we lost it because it just went so far. Uh, but you can't really let that happen on a server. So I thought I can just sit in the back like this, go have a cup of tea, go AFK. And when I come back... Hopefully, we should have picked up some pretty good stuff, because we've come down to level 13, so the chances are we should have some pretty good ores around here, and this guy will just keep going. He's got his fuel, he's got his tracks, and he's got his gravel. Obviously, he'll keep going until he's got no tracks left, so we'll have to supply him with tracks, and uh, his diamond boarhead can mine something like over two times the amount a diamond pickaxe can, so that's just an insane amount. Yeah. So I think this is a pretty funky way of doing it. It's very different, just sitting in the back. <laughs> but I like how it puts everything in it. So we've already got some iron, some tin, some cobblestone, and any gravel and any fuel that it picks up, so like coal, will go inside here and it'll replenish itself. Unfortunately, it doesn't auto-replenish tracks, but <laughs> it'd be pretty cool if it did. It'd be really awesome if you could have like a cart that actually makes tracks as well from some of the stuff you have in here but i guess you don't really have wood underground do you so that would be a little bit hard but yeah that's how that guy works it's uh, pretty cool isn't it just goes off and does his thing we're gonna leave him and uh, we'll come back he can't go too far because we're uh, we're really like uh, we're not chunk loading him so yeah we'll see where he's made it at the end of the episode <laughs> so the other thing that i really wanted to do was try and make this area just look a little bit more trainy you know like we've never really done looking nice i started laying these blocks down because i think these blocks just look really really cool but I, I wanted to try and make this area just look a little bit nicer so i was thinking we could do it like the ones they have in the like when you go underground and you get the abandoned mine shaft like that type of look go for that because i think that could look pretty nice yeah uh, we'd need to probably make this bigger though but overall, I think it could look pretty funky stuff, having all of the uh, stuff around it. Let's give it a little test, shall we? So let's go get some stairs and try and figure out what is going to look good. Uh, yes, I think that's going to uh, work. So we'll put that there and you guys there. So those will be our stairs coming down. And as far as the roof panels and things like that go, I was thinking we could use sticks. Or not sticks, but we could use fence posts. And then I thought, but well, there's actually a better one, isn't there? But I don't know if you can layer it. So let's uh, let's have a look, shall we? Let's go grab some wood from over here, and we'll see if we can do this. Because the amount of times I've made these by mistake, and then for I shouldn't have done that. It's gone like that, and you get these things: barricades, stacks up to four times. So I wonder if you can use these to actually, you know, look like panels going up the side, like you could put them like that. So you can, but they don't... Her, what you doing? Why don't you go on top of each other? Huh. I wonder if they... Oh. Oh. <laughs> so if I put one there, and then one there, but they don't... Oh, man, maybe that isn't going to work. Like, I was kind of hoping that would work, but they go off like that, don't they? I wonder how that... Like, like, I wonder what's making it do that. Is it because there's one there? Do you think that's what it is? Like... Huh. And then if I put this one there. Oh, there we go. So, can I now place this one on top? I can. Ha ha. Ha ha. See, now that looks a little bit better, doesn't it? Hmm. It's either that, or we go with... Uh, we'd need to probably not use... Let's use this, because this is probably better wood, I think. So, let's grab some of these. I think this would look better. It's a bit more really isn't it instead of having the jungle wood <laughs> i don't think you're generally going to find wood down in an abandoned mine shaft that's come from a jungle unless you're like indiana jones or someone like that so we could use those they look a little bit nicer don't they the spruce barricades although there is another thing we can do but i don't know if it's going to uh, look right it could look a little bit weird let's grab my hmm where is it where is my saw we made a diamond saw didn't we there it is. So we use our saw, and we go like this. We get those, and then... I don't think... Uh, maybe... Aha! There we go. Spruce wood pillars. 
they could look pretty cool, couldn't they? Let's try this. So we'll get rid of you. And try our spruce wood pillars. I think this could look pretty funky. I want them in the middle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is it. That's the one. <laughs> That's the guy. You know, we're not going to use these. We're going to use the spruce wood because that is just some funky stuff. Having that like that. Yeah. Having lines like that and then having an over roof just looks amazing. Uh, we could, let's go grab a few more of these actually and have a little play with them. So, what was it? Where was my uh, diamond saw? Wasn't it my diamond saw? And these guys like that. And you, poof, gives us our spruce. And what would you want as a, like, when you see a mine shaft, I never really know what to actually use. Like, they generally use the bricks around, don't they? Hence why I was trying to use the red bricks, because I think they look pretty cool. Like, if we grab a load more of these and go like that, we'll get a load of these red bricks. But I don't think you can change them into anything else. I think they just stay as they are. Yeah, let's do this. And there we go. So we got, like, a, you know, we got a decent amount of them. So... We'd build it out, wouldn't we? So we'd have it like, kind of like this. Yeah. And then, hold on a little bit. Yeah. That looks alright, doesn't it? Have that come in like that. And then another lot around here somewhere. Oh, let's get rid of uh, this guy. <laughs> There's always the odd one out. Yeah not too bad. I kind of like it. Like an entrance to a, a weird mine shaft. I think it looks pretty cool. Except that that we'd need to, yeah, we'd definitely need to take care of this. I think there'd be many splurges out there who would have like a weird heart attack if they saw that. So it'd be like that. I think that could work. I think the rest could be made with this red brick. And it'd be like a red brick kind of weird place down there with all these, all these awesome all these awesome sticks and things. Oh man, I think this could look pretty cool. I, just, I need to figure out what I actually want to do with this place, though. Like, it would work, look, look kind of like that, wouldn't it? And then, like, the sticks kind of holding it up. And we could have... Uh, we could have the spruce come in like this. Alright, that looks a little bit weird. <laughs> we might just have to use sticks for that. Huh. Or we could just have it as if they're holding it up. Like, that could, you know, it'd still look pretty cool, wouldn't it? Let's get rid of these guys and give it a little test. So, we'd have, like, that. And I think I'd actually kind of move this whole area off here so you can't see it. So, it'd be, like, this. Uh, have we got any more? We have. We've got 25. Nice. So, that. And it would just make its way down there, like, some sort of weird abandoned mine but still kind of rough and and red and bricky and stuff yeah just looks like it's slowly being built into over time i think that could work and then on the floor we could use the stone bricks to make it look really nice because i don't want it to look like an abandoned mine shaft but i definitely want an, a mine shaft look you know and I think when you have mine shafts, they always do like they they work into it, don't they? And then near the area where they're like really working, where they're still digging, that's where it's all like scruffy and messy and stuff. So it'd be kind of like that. And then on this side, we'd try and keep them equal, so we'd have those guys. And I could put another one of these up there, like that. Yeah, yeah, I think this could work. I think it would look pretty nice actually, like that. Uh, and on the roofs, again, obviously, we'd have the red bricks, so we wouldn't have these guys kind of sticking out everywhere. Like that. Ah! <laughs> I think it looks alright. I think it looks, you know, semi-decent. I think it could look better, obviously. I'm no good at building. I'm really bad at building, but I think we're on to a winner-winner a -win -a chicken dinner right here, almost. It just needs a little bit of twerking, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit of twerking. <laughs> Cool! I'm actually kind of liking this. I'm looking forward to building it and seeing what we can do with it. We might do some more on the live stream or something because that's an easier place to do it, isn't it? But I think it could work. We might need to bring this out a little bit. And then we can have like some strip mines down the sides and things. Overall looking pretty fancy. I just haven't decided what I actually want to be down there yet. <laughs> Obviously we've got the tunnel bore digging away, but I haven't decided what I actually like. Whether I want tracks coming up, but I think the tracks are going to come out of here. So they're not actually down the main shaft, uh, bringing all the items up. Yeah. 
That's definitely going to be a thing. So, guys, I think the next thing that we need to really get cracking on with is trying to store all the stuff, you know, because we've got some good bits and bobs coming in, but we need a good way of storing everything. So the tanks aren't too bad, but I was thinking like iron tanks could probably be better, like the big railcraft iron tanks. Seeing as we've already got one of these Kraso things full, and that's only got four on there, uh, it's not really going to last much longer, I don't think. Although these guys do fill up slowly, like they're not the fastest people. You can see they've got 13,000, and this one's almost done. I think but that one would like pretty much fill this guy up, so... Yeah, I think iron tanks could be the way forward. And then with our room over here, I wanted to get a crusher built into the wall. And the crushers, uh, I think they're like kind of expensive. Let's have a look at crusher. It's a 3x2x2, the rock crusher. And it needs loads of diamonds. And that gives us four. So we probably need, what, three of these? So we get the diamonds and then the steel. And the steel is not too bad to make, I don't think. We can get that fairly easily with using our uh, little guy here for getting our steel. So the rock crush is going to be a good way of doing it. But then we need to power it with steam. So it means we're also going to need a... Uh, we're going to need steam. So let's have a look at steam. and see what we've got. So we've got the manual steam trap. We've got an automated steam trap. Oh, they sound really cool. What else have we got? We've got the low pressure boiler. We're probably going to go with a low pressure boiler i think yeah steam turbine housing that's pretty cool hmm yeah so if we have a look at so we want low pressure for these and they're all made with iron plates and uh, is it boiler is that what it comes under yeah solid fueled boiler firebox that's the one i want i think yeah and these guys are made out with steel plates. Hey, hold on. What? There we go. That's the one. <laughs> so we'd need fire chargers for those. Which means we're going to need blaze powder and blaze rods. Yep, so we're going to need blaze rods. So I'm going to have to go to the nether and set that up. Uh, when we go to the nether, though, we do have to go back to the overworld, unfortunately. I can't do it here. We On the live stream, we made a nether portal here. And then found out that the nether is disabled <laughs> in the age of steam. Which kind of makes sense. But I guess it would be slightly helpful. But I can, I don't mind going back to the overworld to do that. To go get us some of those guys. And as far as I'm aware, when I went back there last time. If we go back there now. Let's go to the overworld. Uh, there was already a thing set up, I think, to get blaze rods. Let's have a look. Let's go to the uh, place over here. Uh, where is it? There's a, a nether area just over here. Um... Oh, here it is. Never Dimension 1. And just around here was like a... a bl I think it's a blaze farm. I think. Let's go test it and see what it is. Whoop. It's like just around here. And... Oh, here it is. Yeah. Yeah, look. There's, there's blazes in there. So, like, does this actually do anything? Oh, I get it. These are the glass you can pass through, but mobs can't pass through. Ethereal glass. How cool is that? So I could go in here, basically beat up loads of these guys. Oh, it's a little bit fiery in here. <laughs> okay, I think we're alright. And then come out. And be like, hey, I'm done. <laughs> and we got 11 blaze rods. It's insane. Insane in the membrane. Obviously, I'd like to do it with, like, rail-related stuff, but we can't because I can't make my way to the nether in the Age of Steam, which kind of sucks, you know, but it's still very cool nonetheless. Yes. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be that for this episode. Should we go and check on our... Oh. Hello there, you. <laughs> Should we go check on our uh, rail... Our ball guy, before we finish up, I think we should. It's Lincoln Book to the Age of Steam. Yeah, let's go and check this guy out and uh, see what it is. I want to throw another run at one of those water tanks up there as well, I think, so we can get more water. And eventually we'll have him going into a big water tank, like a big railcraft water tank. Yeah. Oh man, this guy's been doing his rounds. Let's go down here and have a little look. <laughs> there he is. 
He should carry on working now that we've come back. Yeah, look, he's just started chunk loading himself again. So what have we got? Uh, we have... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we've got tin, ore, copper, lead. Oh, we've got some pretty good stuff. I wonder if he started using any of his full fuel. Oh, he has. He started using his coal. Look at that. But he's only got eight tracks left, so he is, um, he's going to stop pretty soon, I think. Hey, why is there glowstone? <laughs> what have we just found? Oh my god, please tell me someone's base isn't around here. This could be very entertaining indeed. Uh, have I just tunnel board my way into someone's house? Uh, uh, or is that just the side of it? Is that the side of it? No, there's definitely... What is this? It looks like a hive. It looks like some sort of hive. is this? What is this madness? It is a... Oh, an infernal hive from Magic Bees. Ah, okay. Wow, I didn't know they had that snuff around them. That's pretty cool. Okay, guys, well, that's going to be that for this episode. Yes, we've got our tunnel bore and we've set him loose upon the world, and he's already gathering stuff for us, which is pretty cool indeed. We'll, uh, we'll see how we do with him in the next episode. I think we'll start working on our getting our boiling tanks together and stuff so we can go get in loads of steam and maybe carry on making this mine shaft look at, make, you know, get it looking that little bit better. I would like to throw these in there as well because I think these could work really, really well. Like They look, just look cool, don't they? And we can make the stone lamps look like red as well by using the, is it like infernal brick it's called or something? Yeah, something like that. Where is the... G oh, there he is. Yeah, we can have these, like, up over... Like, in the corners like that. Oh, this is going to look awesome. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, I'll see you soon for another episode of Utopia in the Age of Steam. Don't forget to check out everyone else's videos on the Utopia Network and uh, contribute on the Utopia forums and talk to all the guys. I'll see you soon. Have yourself a great day. Have a good one. And goodbye.